Hi again. In part two, I want to go through how to set up retopology using Z spheres, and I want to look at some of the issues that I had, and then I want to go through projecting the high resolution detail onto the low resolution mesh that you've retopologized. Uh, what we've got here at the moment is the original uh, tool from last part with the two, the high resolution mesh and the low resolution mesh. Then there's the clone of the low resolution mesh uh, that's now scaled correctly. Um, the high resolution mesh with the subdivisions deleted that I want to use for the retopology. And I've also imported the uh, low resolution OBJ file again. You can see that it's still at this different scale. And I just want to show you quickly uh, the problem that you have there. Now, the first thing you want to do is to select a Z-sphere um, and then go down to the rigging tab and you select your mesh. In this case I want the high resolution mesh and this is, the, this is used as the template. The next thing to do is to go down to the topology tab and you can either use the edit topology if you want to start from scratch or you can select a mesh. If I select uh, the OBJ file uh, that I've imported, it comes in at a much lower size as you can see, and that was the problem that I was having before. Um, I'll just delete that uh, Z sphere. And we'll start again. This time, go down to um, Rigging and select the same mesh that we had. And this time, use when we select the mesh to, to, um, that we're using to retopologize, um, we're going to select the, the lower resolution mesh. And that allows you as you see, that's the clone that we had before, and that's coming at the right scale. So, issue solved, problem solved. Now, if you want to start editing the topology, you click on Edit Topology, and then you can start doing, uh, adding new points or whatever you feel like like doing. Now, um, with this, um, there are a couple of things that I've found. If you want to see what you're doing, um, you can change the color of the um, the material, and that will give you a different view of what's happening. If I make this um, very light, you can see that you can see the black lines, which are the uh, the edges on the reverse of the model, and that can be a little bit confusing. But if you change a color to whatever you feel like doing, you can get a much um, you can highlight just the, the points that you want to see, and that can make it a lot easier when you're trying to put a new mesh on. So to edit topology, you need to be in edit mode with draw. Um, I find it useful to reduce the size of the, the brush. Um, control click onto a, uh, a vertice to start, and then you can start drawing your vertices. Um, if you want to edit them, Click on the Move tool, and now you can select and move file, uh, points along the surface. Now the issue that I found that I was having occasionally was that all of a sudden I wouldn't be able to edit any of these points. Um, and no matter what I did, I couldn't click and drag on the points. What I discovered was that if you have, uh, uh, sometimes by keystrokes you will create a mask, and if you control drag in the background to delete any marks that are made available all of a sudden you're able to edit these points again um, I'm not quite sure what I did but uh, it happened a few times and to know that all I had to do was control drag in the background to sort out things uh, was really important um, so uh, what I'll do is come back in a second with the uh, model bit that I've retopologized, and I'll show you how to project the detail onto the mesh. Back again, 
And as you can see, I've worked on the retopology and finished uh, the gap in the arm, and I'm ready to project the high resolution detail from the tool onto this new low resolution mesh. To do that, we need to use the adaptive skin uh, setting that allows you to preview, that's the A key, and while I'm working with the retopology, I'll go through and look at uh, how that mesh is, is looking as a as a mesh. Now you can do um, change the density on the adaptive skin and that will give you a smoothing effect so you can see what the smooth mesh looks like. Now that's the smooth mesh without any projected detail from the from the sculpt um, but it gives you a good idea of whether you've got some errors or problems with that with that mesh. Um, now if you remember the uh, high resolution mesh had six uh, levels of um, uh, subdivision so I will need to when I'm project projecting I'm going to need to crank up the density in the adaptive skin to 6 and as you can see it's going to take um, some time even more time when I project the detail on it to give me a sense of that so what I might do is just show you at a lower density um, what the projection will do and then we'll do a high resolution um, projection um, open up the projection tab, press A or preview to take you back to um, uh, the topology setting. Um, you can't edit projection or any of the other settings um, uh, unless you're in this uh, non-preview mode. So if I project now, um, I've turned on proje projection, I'm using the default setting of 0.1 for the projection range and the projection strength of 1. Um, so now if I press the preview button, what it will do is do a projection of that detail on the high resolution mesh onto the low resolution mesh that I've retopologized and we'll see what it's going to look like. Um, because it's set to a density of 3, it's not going to take too long to do that. Here we go. Now the first time I did this, I was relatively horrified because, as you can see, very little of the um, detail, apart from perhaps a little bit under here, has been projected and there are errors all over the uh, hands, feet and around the head. Um, it's obviously not working at all. And after a search on the forum, I found that uh, there seems to be an issue with normals and flipped polygons um, causing this error. I think it's trying to project the wrong way and the program gets confused. The solution is to go uh, back from PV mode and in the projection tab, if you go from point 0.1 and you take it right down to minus 1, uh, that seems to solve the problem. Um, so now if I do a preview, I get something that looks right. I'll frame it out. Um, now as you can see, because the density in the adaptive skin is only set to 3, it's only partially projecting all the detail. What I need to do now is to crank it up to a density of six and reproject and that should bring all the detail that I need from my um, original sculpt onto this low resolution mesh. Um, so I'll just go out of preview mode, take the density and adaptive skin up to six and then do a preview. Now because there's a lot more detail in this it is going to take um, a minute or two to do that projection, so I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, that's finished, and as you can see now, we have high resolution detail projected onto the uh, low resolution mesh. Um, this process is reasonably good. I think there's probably a little bit, um, you can see that maybe see um, that most of the skin detail is still there although it potentially is a little perhaps a little bit smooth and there's got going to be maybe a couple of little errors here and there you can see in this section here that uh, there's a problem with um, uh, some errors that I can probably smooth out but uh, it's otherwise looking pretty close to to what I had before um, so just by changing that 
projection range to minus one that seems to get rid of uh, most of the errors that I was having when I first did the projection what you now have is a um, a tool you now need to make the preview into an adaptive skin so in the adaptive skin tool if you click the make preview skin um, nothing seems to happen but if you go up into the uh, tool palette you now have um, your original Z sphere with all the detail but you also have um, a new tool called skin Z sphere and that is the um, the new sub tool of that skin it has um, all the levels of uh, subdivision so you can take it down to one um, it's got the new topology on the arms um, but it has the high resolution detail as well and that means that you're ready to go so all I need to do now is to append this tool into the main tool delete the other pieces and I'm ready to continue doing some final touches on the sculpting and then do uh, uh, create the seams for the UVs and start poly painting I hope this has helped uh, and if you're interested you could check out uh, the Space Chef website uh, I'll be releasing some podcasts and an ebook in the not too distant future and hopefully have a few illustrations uh, and movies over the coming months bye